right now on Party Heat, the most out of control boat fest in the country. Coming up, ah! this croc skipper charts a course to jail. Lou, what are you doing? Bye, babe. Have fun in jail. A coked fueled captain abandoned ship. You're not gonna win this, man. You are in a no-win situation. But his capture is shocking. <laughs> Plus, a crazed partier gets taken down with a blast of pepper spray. Get out of my I'm Stop. gonna use pepper spray. It wasn't my fault. Get on this. Get out of oh. 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 Later, this hottie is in some rough seas. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't shoot anyone. So come on board and set sail. It's Party Heat Aquapalooza. Aquapalooza, woo! This is awesome. Thousands of boats invade the South for Florida's rowdiest regatta. It's kind of like Mardi Gras is in New Orleans. A whole lot of booze, and uh, with that comes a lot of trouble. Uh, Beer Can Island is just beyond that, and there's a lot of boats that are beached there. Officer DiMartino knows it's going to be a long day when he spots a morning beach brawl. Hey! 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 You in the water! Hey! In the water! In the water! Stop what you're doing! Stop what you're doing! Stand where you are. I'm going to give you each a chance to tell me what the hell just happened here. One at a time. One at a time. It's in my damn boat. Oh, here's a man. Listen to me. Get up. Get up. I don't listen to me. I don't care who started it. Tell. Do not say anything until I ask you to speak to me. Are we clear? Yes, sir. You will get your turn. You tell me what happened. I just rode up on the beach, and it, the wave just moved us up a little bit. I hit his boat. It dinged it a little bit. Like it's barely. Big. I barely touched him. It's a nice day. Let's not make this a bad day. Get back on your jet ski. Pick another spot on the shoreline. Let's be adult about this. Nobody needs to accompany me on my boat. I can tell you that right now. I really don't want to pull identification. I don't want to pull registrations. Come on now. What we had was uh, the equivalent of a fender bender. A uh, guy in a jet ski pulled up, got into a little bit of a tidal rift, and uh, his jet ski bumped the boat. The gentleman in the boat thought he hit him on purpose. And um, a little altercation ensued. There's a lot of beach out here for people to enjoy. Without the officers on patrol, Aquapalooza would be a free-for-all. When you add alcohol to thousands of people, you're going to have you know, people that don't act appropriate. And then, of course, they're going to infringe on the other people's uh, right to have a good time. Sergeant Marathu spots a jet skier blowing a no-wake zone. Come on over on this side of the boat. Hey, you know the guy, sir. I need you to pull up right here on this side of the boat. Why are you stopping? I'm Sergeant Merritt with Marine Enforcement. How you doing today? Good. The reason I'm stopping you is you are in a no-wake zone, and uh, you're kind of going a little too fast for it. Do you have some ID on you? Have your boating registration? It's not my. It's not my boat. <laughs> I'm All right. A good time, All right. Man. Listen here. Listen here. I just want to go home. I know. I, I can smell an odor of an alcohol. Have you been drinking today? A little bit. A little bit. How much is a little bit? Like one and a half. One and a half? Yeah, your boat's really rocking, man. Yeah, I need you to come up on here on the boat. All right. We got, you, we got you tied off. Come up here and have a seat for me right there. Careful. Sure? You sure I only had one and a half? That's it, man. Have a seat right Maybe. there for me. Maybe two. What's your name? Michael. Because like I said, I can smell a little bit of alcohol on you. And you say you had one or, going, had one or two? Two and a half. Two and a half now? Well, we're going to do a couple of tests, all right? So the tests are designed to uh, determine how much alcohol you've had. Come on, man. I just want to go home. I mean, I'm having a bad day. 
I just want to come home. I understand. I understand. But you, you know that you can't be drinking and you know, driving one of these personal watercraft. That's not even my ski. I'm sorry to hear that, but uh, you're on it. Look, you're I, operating I, it. I got a, 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 a life. I got a yes, life jacket Yes, on. you do. Yes, you do. And we're real glad that you're wearing that. But and you I, don't have I, your identification. I got too. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have you to perform a couple of tests for me. This test is designed to tell me about how close you are to the legal limit, OK? OK. What I need you to do is hold your head perfectly still. If you can't hold your head, yes, you can hold it like that perfectly still. If you can hold it still without holding your hand, that's fine too, OK? Put your fingers down so you don't affect your eyes there. There you go, just like that. Now, are you confident? Are you confident that you can keep confident. your head still while you follow the black tip on this pin? This Good. This boat is moving. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm moving too. You see the tip of that pin? Yeah, that's right. The there. black part, right? I want you to follow that black tip with your eyes only. Okay. Don't move your head for me, okay? Do you understand? I understand. Right. Follow the tip of the pin. Now you're moving your head, Michael. See, it's easy. It is easy, isn't it? You're doing a great job. Excellent. You want to tell me again how many beers you had? Man, I had like two and a half. No. What size beers were you drinking, Michael? Normal size. Normal, just normal. Just cans of beer, bottles of beer? Yeah, they were in a cup. In a cup, huh? Yeah. Was it just beer? Was there any uh, anything else I in had, there? I had like a little bit of rum. A little rum? But it's like half a cup. Huh. Maybe a fourth. All right, I want to do one more test, okay? You're going to count. Watch, watch first, I'll demonstrate, okay? Watch first. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Based on my observations, Michael, you're obviously too impaired to operate that watercraft. I just want to go home. I understand. But there's people out here on this water today that want to go home too. And if you're out here operating one of these. I've been here, I've been here forever. I've, I've, I've had like maybe three, you know? Michael, based on the test that I just performed, I nailed all your tests. Nailed them all, huh? You've displayed to me that you are under the influence of alcohol to the point past the level that is allowed for you to operate that vehicle. I've had like three in three hours, man. I just want to go home. I understand. I understand. But when you're operating one of those things in the impaired state that you are, you put everybody in danger. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to place you under arrest right now for boating under the influence of alcohol. We're going to handcuff you in front here, okay? We're going to, don't let me get these too tight on you, okay? We just uh, stopped a, a young man for uh, creating a wake in a no-wake zone, and uh, upon making contact with him, discovered that uh, he'd been drinking a little bit more than what he had uh, claimed initially. So after performing some field sobriety tests on him, it was determined that uh, he probably was in, well in excess of the legal limit. So his day went from bad to worse. Fun party heat. I'm gonna use pepper spray. Cops douse this louse. Oh, my eyes! And put a charge into this one. Come on. He's tasting me, man. What the hell is wrong with you? out on the water and you have alcohol and sun involved, anything can happen. Our number one responsibility out here is to keep everybody safe. Officer Morris spots a damsel in distress at the sandbar. Go ahead and pull over here. The girl's kind of flagging us down. See what's going on with her. You okay? What's wrong? Okay, can, can you swim over here? There you go. All right, come on. Sir, I need your help, please. I can't. Oh, sir, I can't. Oh, sir, I can't. I have something in my foot. <laughs> 
Okay, we're gonna go up to the front of the boat, okay? And my friends left me. I don't know where they are. <laughs> Okay, just have a seat right here on the seat. What happened? I was drinking. I don't know. I was with that person in the yellow boat. Mm -hmm. And I I was having having some beers. And then I don't know what happened in my foot. Just put your foot on there. Am I going to be okay? Did you step on something? <laughs> yeah. You didn't get bit? You don't know? No, I don't know. Okay, where are your friends at now? My boyfriend is picking me up in the island. Okay, well, we'll so take we you. There, please. Okay, we'll take you back there so he can come get you, okay? Thank you. You might want to get him to uh, take you to the doctor when you get back and get them to look at it. You might need a stitch or two, okay? Okay. Ow, ow, ow. I know, it's gonna hurt, but I need to wrap it up, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna be okay. Yeah, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> We pulled up on the sandbar, saw a young lady waving us down. Apparently she had stepped on something, cut her foot open pretty good. She's probably gonna need a couple of stitches. So we pulled her on board, bandaged her up. She said her boyfriend could come pick her up. So uh, we brought her in somewhere where he would know to come get her, dropped her off. You're my hero. No, uh, thank you. Wow. Made contact with her boyfriend. He said he'd be here in about 10 minutes. So we're just gonna, gonna leave her here. She should be fine. We'll be back in about 10 minutes to check on her make sure everything's okay. Sergeant Marathu spots some ladies sunning where they're sure to get busted. Ladies, in the boat! Get in the boat! Captain, cut your engine! In the boat! They're riding up on the bow of the boat without any railing up there, and it's a safety issue. They could fall off and be pulled under the boat and be caught in the props. So. We're gonna go over here and uh, talk to them and see if they're aware of that and uh, see, make sure the driver uh, is aware he's responsible for the people in his boat. Everything okay? Yeah, Captain, I'm Sergeant Merritt, Youth Marine Enforcement. I just wanted to uh, let y'all know some, about some safety issues here. With the ladies up front. Yes, sir. The bow riding. You don't have a, a railing up there on that bow. When they're bow riding like that, if you were to hit a big wave or a wake come by or something and throw one of them off, they go right under this boat, right under those props. Right under this boat. So, you, you know, girls. you don't have the railing. The girls are going to have to stay down in the boat. Stay down in the boat. You, you as the captain, are responsible for all the people that are on your boat. Thank you right? for letting me know. Um, the other thing, while, while we've got you stopped here, is uh, let's go through a little safety uh, uh, inspection, see if you got your equipment that you're all supposed right. to have on here, okay? What you need a safety inspection for, man? Hey, partner. This doesn't involve you, this involves the captain. So to, just, just be calm and... It's not me, it's not Hey, we'll be on our way, no time, no time at all. Okay. Hey, you're not, you're not making things better. Baby, yeah, everybody you grab a hold of a life vest. Make sure everybody's got one. Come on. Okay. You're not making things better. Hey. Okay, we've got. Okay. We've got, okay. We've got the life jacket. All right. Thank you. Got, you got you got your uh, your flares. Uh, yeah. You got your yeah. flares. Hey, partner. What? Put the beer down. Why? It's my beer. Uh, uh, come over here and sit while I take care of business, okay? Yeah. Just come over here on my boat. Look at this guy talking, man. Look. Just, just come on over here and sit down. I'm going over there. You need to you need to calm down. Okay. Here, I'm not going the, over there. I got the flares right here. Okay, Captain, hold on for a minute. What's your name, Bart partner? Matthew. Matthew, come over here. I I'm need you to come over. over there. Look, Why? I need for you to come what? over here and sit for down what? on this for on this bench. I, I'm talking to you. I am trying to do something here, my job, and you're getting in the way. You're obstructing a police officer. Now step over here on this boat and have a seat. Well, He's not under arrest right now. Well, if he calms down. Things might be all right. Now just sit down for me. Yeah, chill. Just sit down. Just all right. Sense, man. Listen to him. Do you have your fire extinguisher? Uh, yes, sir. The hell, you need a fire extinguisher. We're in the middle of the water. There's ocean everywhere. Man. Please you. be quiet. Right. Four, man. It's hey, I'm sit. going back on the boat. All right, sit down. That's it. What are you doing? Tur turn around. Oh. Nah, man. Stand I'm up. Turn back around. On the boat. No. I'm going back on the boat. Turn around. Please don't. Put your hands behind your back. What are you doing, man? You're under arrest. For what? Oh, Obstructing a police officer. What did I do? This guy. Yeah. This is what happens when you have a little too much to drink. You don't know when to shut your mouth. Now, down. We're just out here having fun. We're just out here having fun. Cap, we're going to untie here, and you're free to go. He's going to jail. You can go to the marina. He got nothing better to do. We're just out here having fun. Okay, listen. We're going to go get you. All right, folks. Be safe, ladies. Stay off the bow. Witnesses. I didn't do nothing. We're going to get you, okay? This guy's out of 
<laughs> we stopped a boat for a, a couple of ladies bow riding, which is a, a safety violation. While we were there, we I decided to do a, a safety inspection, make sure that he had all of the proper equipment that uh, boats are supposed to have while out here. And uh, a, a young gentleman decided to obstruct me from doing my job by becoming loud and obnoxious and uh, apparently had a little bit too much to drink. So he's being uh, transported down to the jail and he'll have to post bond and maybe uh, learn a valuable lesson today. Coming up on Party Heat. Knock it off! This slugger takes a hit from the cops. Get out of here! A pair of hotties gets personal. How big is your gun? It's average, I guess. Time to rest for Officer Marathu when he spots a renegade jet skier blasting through a restricted zone. We're going to try and catch up to him and uh, talk to him and see what's going on with him. Cut your engine! I'm going to need you all to pull up top on the side of the boat here for me, please. Stop. Just stop. I you? told you. I told yes. him this was going to happen, stop. officer. You know why I stopped you today? No, sir. Blew past that uh, no wake zone sign right there. I, I, I didn't uh -huh. see it. Listen. I didn't see it. I apologize. I told him it was there, officer. He never listens to me. Did you not hear? Stop. Stop. Not always happened. Yeah. Well, always happened. Never we've got stops. we've got a busy weekend out of here, and we're we're stepping up enforcement on the wake zone violations. So uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to need to see your license and your registration. Never. Let's go through that. Never. Make sure we got our safety equipment. I see uh, your whistle. Do you have your kill switch? Kill switch is right here. Right. If you would have listened to me, we wouldn't Just have got pulled over. Stop. No. <laughs> Mr. Thomas, all the information on your driver's license, correct? Yes, sir. I'm going to issue a citation for the, for the uh, wake violation. A citation? Are you kidding me? You're for real? Stop. Just told him to slow down. I knew it. Just having fun. Apologize. Well, I know. We all want to have fun out here this weekend. I mean, there's a lot of people out here having a good time and everything, but, man, we've really got to watch what we're doing out here. Y'all out here for the festival this weekend? No, this is our honeymoon. What? Yeah, this is our honeymoon. This is what I have to go through. Well, nice, huh? Can't say she didn't warn you. Thank you. I tried. Maybe you'll listen next time. You always constantly <laughs> yapping and you because said something you never of substance, listen. I might listen. Yeah. Okay, is this substance enough? Really? We stopped that uh, PWC for uh, a wake zone violation. We're stepping up enforcement on that this weekend with all the boats out here and all the people. We're trying to keep everybody as safe as we can. And uh, they just got married this weekend. And uh, I'm telling you, if that's the way that marriage is starting off, I'm, I'm sure it's in for a rocky road. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll uh, let them get back to their life and we'll make sure everybody else out here still has a safe weekend. Sure. A stumbling drunk gets the attention of officers Masikas and DiMartino. What's that guy doing there just hanging out? Oh, he's probably, he's probably with those. No, no. I thought he was with those people to the right. He scream? He screamed something. Who knows what he's doing? What's he doing, man? He is screaming. He's screaming for somebody. Let's go check it out. Yeah, he's looking for somebody. Dude. I thought he was with these people. Yo, come here a second, man. Who are you looking for? Ah! Hey! Come here, man. Just wait for a minute. What are you doing, man? What's up? Put your beer down. I gotta finish it. Hey, man, come on over here. Lola! Hey! Come over to the boat. You see Lola? Who's Lola? Who's Lola. And who are you? What's your name? It's not important. Well, I mean, I mean, dude, how are we, how are we gonna help you look for Lola? Who's Lola anyway? Lola's my girlfriend. Okay. 
All right, come on over here and tell us about Lola. Come here, come on over to the boat. Come on over here, man. You guys, like, you guys smell, man. There's what? It's not important. I got to I gotta find her. Like, just let me go find her. I got to go. Well, I know, but we'll help you find her is our point. Lola! Where are you? Hey. <sighs> Walk away from the boat. Walk toward the boat. All right, all right. Who are you looking for, man? Lola, man. Lean right against the boat. Lean right here. Put your back against the boat. Stand up straight. Tell me your name. Don't tell me your name is Lola. Tell me your name. My name is Greg. 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 Are you from this area, Greg? I'm not from this area. How old are you, Greg? Um, I am 20 years old. 20 years old. Uh huh. Like, have you guys seen her though? 20 years old. What are you doing drinking if you're 20, man? Let me tell you what the drinking age of Florida is. It's 21. So what I need for you to do, you can tell me all about Lola, but you're going to do that from inside the boat. Yeah, let's jump up there. We need to talk for a minute. And who's Lola? Lola is my girlfriend. Okay. And why are you walking up and down the shoreline screaming for Lola? Because I lost her. What, she's she gone. Oh, she's gone. You, lost, you lost your Lola? I lost my Lola. So <laughs> Lola right. Maybe Lola wanted to get lost, dude. I think you're a little intoxicated. How much you had to drink today, man? A couple. A couple. Two beers. The normal answer. You know, more than some, two than others. What made you think that she's way over here by herself? She likes should, privacy. Should leave with a guy or? I mean, how long you guys been dating? Long time. Long time? Oh, What's a long time? Lola's 19. Lola's 19. And how long is a long time? Uh, four months. <laughs> four months a long time to you? Yeah. Hey, man, have a seat for a second. Bro, a I don't want to do this anymore, bro. I, w I want to go find Lola, well, man. This is well, right now, I don't want to do it. Yeah, but we, we need to talk for a minute. But let me tell you what you're talking about. Right now, you're underage, you're intoxicated. You're going to do what we ask you to do. Well, let's put it this way. Right now, you're under arrest anyway, so it doesn't matter. Why? For underage drinking. So what are you going to do about Lola, though? I'll tell you what, right now, let's not worry about Lola. Let's bring your hands out of there. You need to worry about yourself right now a little bit. All right, have a seat right here. Have a seat. Now we can talk about Lola all day long. All right. Okay? Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to look for Lola. Coming up on Party Heat, the search continues. Lola! And you won't believe where Lola's been. Hi, babe. How's going to do? And later. I'm here with my friend on my little tube, and you... You can have you can have fun time in the, in the jail. The underage drinker cuffed. Officers look for his last Lola. Tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna look for Lola. We're gonna make a run up the coast, but we're gonna look for Lola. Good. Okay. You are not gonna scream Lola so at the how, top of your how are you gonna know? You're gonna, gonna you tell me, hey, that looks like Lola. Well, there's a, there's a bunch of boats like here. We're gonna drive past these boats and see if you see Lola, and then we'll just keep right. going, and That's what we're gonna do. we'll keep going, and you go to jail. And I go to jail? Yep. No matter what? Yes. No matter what, yeah, absolutely. Look for Lola. Is that Lola? That? Lola! Yeah. That's her right there. Look, her right look, there. Right there. The one on the edge of the Right there, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Lola! Lola, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't want. Is this yours? I only have like two. Is this yours? What are you doing on that boat? Turn down your music. Because your boyfriend's going to go to jail, right? Go to jail. Go to jail. Look at you see you turn the water. That's oh, that's scary. funny, huh? I'm Those going to jail now guys. because of you. I was looking for you. Because of you. What did she do? She wasn't. I was, I was looking because she got lost. You're she right, can't just get you. lost. Okay. I want you to be quiet for a second right now. You know the people you're with? Yes. Drinking yes. water? Yes, I'm drinking water. You're comfortable with them? You guys know Lola? Yeah. yeah Have course. a nice day. You too. Careful. Bye, babe. Have fun in jail. Water. Greg, boat ride. The gentleman was out there on the beach yelling and screaming, and uh, we went out there to see what he was doing. Kind of asked him his age. He looked a little young, and uh, figured out he was said he was 20, but he's only 19 years old, out looking for his girlfriend who's having a great time on somebody else's boat. Anyway, this say uh, he's going to go to jail for uh, underage drinking, public intoxication. Our presence out here helps deter bad behavior. And I realize everybody's trying to have a good time. So, I mean, we try to avoid taking the people to jail. I mean, but sometimes we have to. 
there's still the criminal element out here. We got something up here. We got a couple of girls on the jet ski squirting at people. Just gonna stop them and see what's going on. All right, guys, hold up. <laughs> All right, you guys can't be squirting those guns. Now, I understand, but if you get it in somebody's eye and they, you know, they get out here and run over one of these little kids, how are you gonna feel then? We're just having fun. How big is your gun? It's, it's average, I guess. <laughs> come, come over here. How old are you? Nineteen. And you? I'm eighteen. You're eighteen. Okay, let, let me make a deal with you. I'll give you my gun if you give me yours. Uh, no. Well, how about you put yours down? And I won't have to pull mine out. Okay. There you go. Good job. <laughs> now, um, you're 19, you're 18. Yeah. Anything to drink today? No. No. Nothing at all. You sure? For sure. Okay. Well, we have room for one more. On this. Yeah, I could scoot. Unless you want to be in between. Nah, you'd have to go find somebody else. <laughs> I got I to work. I got work to do. No more guns. <laughs> on the left. Check him out. What's this guy doing? Yo, come here a second, man. Easy there, Bubba. Hell, he's taking off on us. Ah, uh, we got this guy. I think he, he saw us over here watching him. I don't know. He looked like he was running. I don't know what he's doing now. Hell, he slowed down. He's watching us. Get up on him. Yo, yo. Turn it off. Turn it off for a second, man. What's going on, man? What's up? What's up? What did I do? Uh, oh, wake zone. Yeah. Come on, you gotta give me a break. I didn't see no wake zone around here. You don't see all the signs around here? You're in a no wake zone. Pay attention to the signs of the post. Where do you see any? I don't see any signs. You see Everywhere any signs you anywhere? took off from. Right behind you, man. Right behind you. Come on over here. This is not an argument, Max. Come on, bring it up. Come on, man. You know, just give me a break. You know, I can just. Where are you from, man? Weekend. Where are you from? You know, from Miami. Oh, yeah. You got your driver's license on you? Yeah. Got in my bag. What, what do you got in there, man? Let's give up the bag. Are you serious? Yes, sir. But, I mean, but there's nothing in there, man. I understand that. You just let us decide for that. Well, I mean, if it's my bag, you don't have the right to look in there. Actually, we do. How so? Because you've already broken motor law. You're in a no wake zone and you're speeding on a, on a seat. Here. here, jump over here for right, a second. Come on man. up on the boat. Come on up here. It'd be easier to do it up here, man. Uh, man, we can't, we can't. Oh, shoot. Face that way. Stay facing that way. Stay facing that way. But, but relax, man. I'm just trying to relax. That's the third time. That's the third time I told you to stay facing what? that way. What? I do not want to get no, into I, this conversation look, with you. Look, I don't. Look, you get into my personal space, man. Relax. What's going on here, man? Relax. I'm sorry, your I'm personal not, space. I got nothing going on here, here man. All I want you to do is stay facing. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Relax. Relax, man. Stay the other way. We're going to get really, really physical. All right. Okay. 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 Relax, man. Relax. Stand up, man. Can I just? Bro, I'm serious, man. You got to take it easy, man. Where's your driver's license at? It should be. In there somewhere. You don't have anything in here? Guns, knives, anything? No, like that? Nothing you know, like that? You know, Am I going to get stuck just, if I put my hand in no, here? No, let me just, here, let me just take a look at it for you. Watch his hands. Yeah. Yeah, let's take a look at it. What, what, are you, what are you so nervous about, man? Nothing, man. Nothing. I mean, well, I mean if, not, if, if you have nothing to hide, then let us you go through the gun. You got a gun or anything in there? No, there's no guns in there, right. man. I'm serious. Well, why are you uh, all nervous? There's your driver's license. Yeah, you see? Dude! <laughs> what do you want to do? Where's he going to go? Hey. Cut him off, man. Coming up, cops get their man. You're not going to win this, man. You are in a no-win situation. And he pays a price for his run from justice. <laughs> then, cops rush to the rescue. Yeah, they're definitely in distress. We're coming. We're coming. And later, a sandbar fight gets this slugger sprayed. It's pepper spray. It wasn't my fault. Get on there. Get on there. Oh! oh! Officers Masikas and DiMartino are on the hunt for a perp on the run. Where are you going to go? We got it. 
Hey, don't let him get back on that jet ski. Get back to the seat. Hey, pull up, yeah, pull up in front of him. Pull up in front of him. You're not going to win this, man. You are in a no-win situation. If you didn't do anything, you got nothing to hide. Then you need to be up here talking to us and letting us do our thing. Because right now, you're acting like a man with plenty to hide. And that makes me nervous. And if I get nervous, you're not going to like it. Come on, man. Again, let's try this again. Man. Back in the boat. Man, let's go. I ain't done nothing wrong. Watch your hands, watch your hands, let's go. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Let's do this all again. Back in the boat. Look, man. Let me tell you something. I ain't done nothing wrong. I understand that. I failed it away. I didn't time. see the thing. All right, tell you what. You all sit right. down and let, let me tell you something for a change. If you've done nothing wrong, then let us look through your stuff. Don't act like somebody's got something to hide. Because it's going to make it worse for you. Teach Cocaine. Wait, wait, whoa, what? What? Turn around. What the heck now? I'm calm, man. Turn what happened? Turn around. Turn around. Stand up and turn around. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. We're not. Turn around. What's going? Wait, 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 wait. What are you guys charging me for? Stand up and turn around. I didn't look do it. anything, look man. It. Turn around, right. or else I'll shoot you with this damn taser. What the hell, You're man? You're gonna comply. You're what gonna the hell? Shot. Come on, turn around. You guys gotta relax, man. What turn are you around. doing, man? What the hell, man? Okay, I'll get Man. He's got a bunch of cocaine in the bag. That's okay. not mine, man. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, man? Was, That's not mine. It was, next to, it was next to your damn driver's license. Man, that was my friend's bag. Just like I, I was carrying it, just like the sea dude, right. man. When we, tell us that when we pulled you over, when we pulled you over, you didn't say this was my friend's bag. You said, why do you want to search my bag? Come it's on, not enough for me to decide yeah. whose bag it is. Yeah. Crying out loud. It's on your body, it's on your person. That's your current address. Right. Yeah. That's off the bat, right there. Off 15th Street. That's right. Dude, what are you yelling for? I'm standing right in front of you. I mean, seriously, you gotta yell? I'm right. You just tasered me, man. What the hell's wrong with you? Uh, you know what you're being arrested for, right? Why don't you enlighten me on why I'm supposed to be arrested right. again? Let the man finish talking. I am enlightening you right now. It's for the felony possession of cocaine and then evading arrest. That was by you pulling your little swan dive into the water and trying to run from us. He didn't get very far, but that's, that was cute. That was a good try. Whatever. Jet ski was uh, in an no-wake zone, exhibited some excessive speed, kind of got our attention. And, uh, he was uh, very evasive, very uncooperative. We just asked him a few basic questions. You know, can we look in his bag, what his name was, where his driver's license was, and he had no answers for us, so that kind of raised a red flag. Found some narcotics in his bag, and uh, we're going to take him in. of alcohol in their body right now so we're seeing seeing people getting silly and the heat of the day sun shining all right check these two guys out look at these guys in the water here They're fixing to go at something hey roll on over that direction come on over hey knock it off hey no, no, get get over side hey you come here let me talk to you buddy what come here let me talk to you uh, 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 the other guy, I guess. Uh, uh, 
Hey, sir, I saw everything. I saw him start the fight. I'm going to need to... Let me get a little information from you real quick, okay? What's your name? Red. Red? He was a complete man talking ridiculous. What started it? He's talking, just talking about my girl, man. Talking about her ass. Okay, well, we were right here, and we saw, you know, I saw him throw the punch. So I don't need, I, you know, I don't need you to do. You go back and enjoy yourself with your friends. Thanks, officer. I'm going to take this one to jail. Have a good day. Uh, when we were patrolling, these two uh, gentlemen started arguing, and uh, all of a sudden, this guy decides to throw a punch at him. I witnessed well, the assault. You. I was able to get him up on the boat, and uh, once I informed him he was under arrest, he decided that uh, he didn't want to go to jail. He did not comply with my commands, so I had to employ the pepper spray. Uh, oh, that, you had to pepper spray me. I didn't do it. Ah, uh, he'll be fine. A concerned jet skier flags down Officer Masikas. Hey, hey, check him out. What's going on? We're coming! We're coming! TJ, that one girl looks like she just jumped off the front yeah, of the boat. Yeah, the one's going with it. Here yeah. we go. TJ, let's get this girl on the boat. <laughs> you alright, buddy? Yeah. You alright? You got an extinguisher? <laughs> you alright? Come on. Come on. Come on. Go ahead, get them. You got them, TJ? On, you alright over there? One foot at a time. Right I got, here. I got you. You got it? And down. Did you guys get it out? Yeah. You got him. Over. <laughs> Good. You take it on water? Uh, no, I'm not taking on water. Apparently the engine starts. How old's that boat? Looks pretty new. Yeah, it's probably two, three years old. Take a look at that compartment, Eric. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know really what I'm looking at, but. Yeah, it looks pretty new. I'm surprised you had the fire extinguisher stuff all over the place. Uh, yeah. I'm not taking on any water in the compartment. That's good. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't Just think don't I'm start water. the engine again. Tell you what yeah. we're going to do. We're going to get you a tow company out here. The boat's going to be fine. It's not taking on any water. Put you back on the boat, maybe 10, 15 minutes, and the tow boat will take you back. Are you sure we're going to be safe? Yes, ma'am. Your captain assured me that he's got that fire out. But we observe, observe. It looks good. It's out. It's not taking on any water. So guys, go back in the boat. I got Seatoe coming out for him. I want to get these ladies back on that boat so Seatoe can take them all in. All right, cool. We got a report from a jet skier that uh, that a boat was having some engine trouble. Saw so when we pulled up to it, it started smoking a lot. At least the uh, the owner of the boat had a fire extinguisher and was able to uh, extinguish whatever fire or smoke there was on the boat. And uh, we called Seatoe, and they'll come out here shortly and uh, tell them in. On Party Heat, Aquapalooza isn't over until the handcuffs go on. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't shoot anyone. Officer Masikas makes one final pass to the sandbar on the lookout for any trouble. Hey, let's head over there. There's a uh, girl, looks like she's in a little bit of distress or something. She's flailing around a little bit. Let's go make sure she's okay. There's a bunch of boats out here and she's kind of in the middle of nowhere. You okay? Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, I'm just trying to get on my tube. You look, you look a little out of breath. You've been trying for here. I'm fine. Here, see if, here, come over here for a minute. Yeah, all right? I'm just looking for my friends. I don't know where they went. Here, give me your arm. 
What about the tube? We'll get the tube in a minute. Here, give me your other arm. You all right? Yeah. Here, jump up here. Ugh. Let's, let's go to the front of the boat. Yeah, right? how much you had to drink? Just a couple of beers. Just a couple of beers. Have a seat. I don't know where they went. <laughs> Who was they anyway? My friends. <laughs> Who are you here with? This is my friends from school. We went out on the boat, but I don't know where they went. How much you had to drink? Couple beers, two, three, four. How long you been out here? Um, since like 11. Since 11? It's like three o'clock now. So you've been out here, have you been out here floating around for four hours? No, they were here before. We were all together, but I don't know where they went. You know what their names are? Yes. You do? Obviously. So have you been drinking the whole time? Only had like the two beers. Man, you've had more than two beers. There's no way in hell you've only had two beers. Okay, maybe like one more. Which is what? Three beers? I don't know. Does that really matter? Can we just find my friends? And you don't see your girlfriends anywhere out there. You want to take a ride around, see if you see them anywhere? You do? All right, we can do that for now, and then we'll figure out what to do with you after that. Well, the problem here is we can't seem to locate your, what? What do you see? I don't know, that one kind of looks like them. Oh, but is it them? No. No. So what am I supposed to do with you if we can't locate your friends? Well, just leave me where you found me. I'll find them eventually. Well, we can't leave you just floating in the water. That's dangerous. I'm a big girl. I can take care of myself. <laughs> oh, are you now? Yes. I beg to differ since you're highly intoxicated. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to take you to jail for public intoxication. What? Did I stutter? I, I said, What did I do wrong? You know what public intoxication is? Uh, you Display said you were gonna help me find well, my friend. What here. was that, like, a way for me to get onto your boat so you can take me away? Yeah, take you to jail. I can't leave you out here. You're you're way, way, way too drunk. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't shoot anyone. Well, you're right, but... And you're I taking just... an innocent person. You ever been arrested before? No. What do you do for a living? I bartend. You bartend? Maybe you should get away from that bartending business. You seem to be uh, drinking way too much. I don't drink way too much. We just all came out here and had a good time, but that really so bad. I mean, it's for your safety. I can't leave you out there. What, am I supposed to leave you out floating on this tube? What if we come back tonight at 6 o'clock at night and nobody else is out there except for you? You're about ready to pass out right now. No. You can't even keep your eyes open. That's because the sun is in my eyes. The sun's behind us. We can't leave her out here on the on the water floating in her in her tube. She's a danger to herself. You just can't do that. She'll get transported to the jail. And uh, she'll sober up there and hopefully realize that she's uh, had way too much to drink. Aquapalooza, woo! This is awesome. Aquapalooza weekend's come to an end. All in all, it turned out to be a pretty good event. We've had some arrests, wrote some tickets. Nobody got hurt or killed, which is always a big plus. Everybody seemed to have a good time, and uh, hopefully everybody makes it home safely.